the South Pole is mostly covered by ice, but fossils show that crocodiles, dinosaurs, and palm trees once lived on the land. How can that happen? How can palm trees grow where it's dark six months of the year? And on the North Pole, up on this Axel Island, you got snakes, tortoises, alligators. In the Arctic Circle, badgers aren't going to dig into permafrost. And then you, you find up there also, a frozen mammoth in the standing position. This one's standing. They find a lot of mammoths. They found half a million tons of ivory up there. There's a lot of mammoths up there. It had food in its mouth they could identify, food in its stomach they could identify, and a lot of that food is from late summer. So the big question is, how did it get so cold so fast in late summer to freeze a mammoth so well that the stomachs didn't feed them? Mammoths can't live in the Arctic Circle. They eat 600 pounds of food a day. They drink 30 gallons of water, 60 gallons of water a day. They can't live up there. How do it get so cold so fast? That's going to be answered with cold hail. The pumps broke up, got up, and it didn't have enough force to get out of our gravity. So it came down as muddy hail, freezing hail and mud. Came down, buried the mammoths. They're buried in mud. He's trying to climb out of the mud. This stuff up in outer space is really cold, really cold. So that's coming down and it freezes them to the to the ground. How did it stay cold? I mean, freezing the mammoth is one thing. Why doesn't it thaw? That comes us to the big rule. When the mountains were compressing and rising up, the stuff in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere pretty much cancel out. But there's nothing in the southern hemisphere to cancel out the Himalayan mountains. Ten of the highest peaks in the world are in the Himalayan mountains. This is by far the largest mountain range in the world. So according to physics, that mass is going to want to spin to the outside, more to the equator. So Mammothville was tropical. They were getting a lot of food in late summer. They could drink a lot of water. They were eating like pigs, and there's a lot of them. And then when the Himalayans form, the spin, the Himalayans trying to get to the equator, is going to move the mammoths up to Mammoth Chill. Hence, they never melted. They've always been frozen up by the Arctic Circle there in the permafrost. That's why there's dinosaurs and palm trees and crocodile fossils in Antarctica. In Antarctica at one time was, was tropical, but then the big roll happened and now it's at the bottom of 